Alright, what is up guys, and as always, welcome back to another overview battle. We just really discovered under, and today I'm gonna use um, a Reggie Drago team that was, that is more catered towards actually being really offensive and hopefully well, with a small counterproductiveness in uh, Misty Train. <laughs> but hey, look at this team, another Reggie Drago. So this oh, is actually both good and bad. The positive trait about this is that um, we actually are able to keep a few Pokemon at arm's length. Um, we're gonna actually lead off with Victini because if he leads off with something like Malotic or um, basically what I'm trying to say is unless his lead is um, um, Cinderace, I should be able to pivot out of that and kind of get some type of momentum. Only self rocker I see is potentially Tyranitar. And his only means of defogging is, of course, Covenite. So he has good, very well synergized team. So to Yuri, good luck, have fun. Should say Yuri is from Twitter. And um, it felt good going into this game knowing that I was not going to have it off against uh, Ubers. So <laughs> thank you, Yuri, for that. I mean that. Start us off with Reggie Drago. Now, here's the thing it's shiny. No, it was Beast Ball. No, it was shiny. It can't be shiny. It's shiny a lot. Hmm. Now, since I lead it off like that, I have every reason to think he is scarfed. And Skulls kind of come in on this freely, even though I believe my... Um, <clears throat> actually, I'll think about it. Like, there made no sense for me of switching this one in. Though, he can't use anything but... Oh, look, Dryon, that's cool. <laughs> so that's not at all scary. Um, he could have Hammer Arm, and he could have... Um, Fire Fang, right? That's the combination. So with that in mind, I'm actually going to send in Cetrion, which it probably was the Pokemon I should have switched in <laughs> at first, now I think about it. But basically, like spamming Outrage and whatnot is not the only combination you can do that are going to be very effective. But like this, I'm kind of punishing him. So what I want to see is Fire Fang or Hammer Arm, and I should be able to soak both. Well. Fire Fang. So yeah. I was kind of feeling that. So that was a crit. That was like, hmm, a lot of damage anyway. So a good play here. If I were a master of prediction, I'll say he switches out. And I will do well. So actually just go for Nature's Madness. To kind of disrupt actually his melodic switching. There is no way he stays in, like he wastes this Pokemon the second he decides to stay in. So yeah, with Ross, I think it's fair. Now we know it's not Scarf, so Corviknight comes in. That's a good play. That's a legit shiny too. I can see that from a mile away. It's so Nature Madness, gonna drop him down to half H H his HP. Yeah, that's good. Some type of berry. Let's see, Special Defense Maranga Berry. Hmm. Why did he pop that one early? Huh. So special defense trees is definitely frustrating. It does force us out and he can just roost his off if he wants to. So, um... I'm actually going for a bolt strike. I feel like he's going to go for roost here. As he has a good opportunity of just kind of gauge me. Let's see. Yeah, makes sense. Um... I'll probably do the same actually now I think about it, but with special defense in trees, it's kind of nasty. Just gonna double check here that I can actually go for. Yeah, Bolt Strike is uh, really without issue. If he decides to stay in, I think he's in risk of getting knocked out. Yeah, it did good. It did good. And he U turns maybe? Drill Pack. I'm not sure about that. Should I just go for it again? Like, look at what I got there. Yeah, I'll say. V Crate would have been probably better, but I really don't want to give Tyranitar more free opportunities than I need to. And if I went for V Crate, I'll figure the worst part scenario is that my Lord comes in, and it's annoying enough as is. It's no more Mr. Terrain. I guess that's nice. Trying to, like, Tyranitar comes in, and that's going to be frustrating. Though I don't believe it can do anything, or at least not... Yeah, Cinderace, though. <clears throat> That's a thing. 
he can sucker punch and that should be without issue. Um, I really don't want to resend in Cetrion, however. Uh, can I do this differently? I kind of want to keep. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, I'm gonna send in Cetrion again. Basically, U turns a like fair play, and together with something like um, Sucker Punch would do really good damage on me. I really hope it doesn't U turn. If he U turns, it just kinda pressures me more than it needs to. Hey, Adrian. U turn, Sucker Punch, good. So, nice, 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 nice. So, what's the switch in? At this point, like, he's not gonna stand to this. Though he probably U-turns. So, Nature Man is again. is gonna be one of the freest switch ins he got. He's some headbutts. That's a mad lad at work. How much damage could that do? Oh, wow. Wow, that I, yeah. That did good, though. Probably a bit more than I wanted to. I'll, I'll tell you guys that already. Um, and I really can't lose this guy. I really can't. So... I'm gonna send in Scals, and I'm actually going to do the big boy play. Which is actually just set up um, Tailwind here, and... Um, Try to abuse the momentum a little bit because, like I said, I just I can't lose this momentum. I really can't. If I'm lucky here, he's gonna go for a sucker punch over anything else. But I don't think that's gonna happen. If it did, I'll, <laughs> I would have abused that too. Um, but yeah, parable, nothing to it. Good miss. Don't miss. Of course not. Um. Kinda, um, kinda tough call, but I, I really needed to make that. Um, because as of right now, we are at war. We're gonna send an exhale the way I see it. He knows we're double the speed. I wanna so badly set up. Let's do that. He's gonna go for a sucker punch. Come on. You know we have double the speed. Don't make, make this look weird for me. Sense in Malorek and we go in to get... Yes, we're gonna get some love. Now the unfortunate part here is that... I think I need to preserve Nidoking King somehow. Because I believe Skull and whatnot really does... A lot of damage towards me. At the same time, I want the damage here. I really do. So, at least get one hit in there. We are a life form and whatnot, so hopefully... Yeah, it does good. Scald, however, will probably do worse. Yeah, don't get the burn. Ice. Like I said, just kind of wanted that damage in there because he's gonna skull again ah oh, fuck it let's just do it <laughs> oh he, he recovers he absolutely recovers So it's kind of hard to appreciate Melodic, I'll tell you guys that. Tailwind petered out. Because I really don't have a fair switch into this. Unless it comes with Drago, which I want to abuse, but I guess that's probably not a thing. Because Hatterini comes in and that's about it. Hopefully you just go for another recover. No, nope, Skulls, that's fine. So 
with this in mind, I think Hatterini comes in. So we're gonna switch this back, actually. I really hope that's the case. Like, if he goes to recover or anything like that, and more part of my parents. Oh, jeez. Is it worse, isn't it? Oh, my God. All right. Focus. Focus, focus, focus. Why did he stay in, though? He knows the damage here. He had a free switch, and you, you cannot figure you treat that one differently. No matter. No matter. <clears throat> Big boy play. I'm actually going to give this one to Jerry. That was actually... That was ballsy. That was really ballsy. I want a U-turn, I really do, but Bolt Strike, I really need to break this Melodic. And I know that, probably no more than ever now that I can't actually abuse um, my Nidoking. Okay. Why did he go for Ice Beam? Like, that Draco would have obliterated the Melodic. Plus, he didn't know whether or not it was special or not. I am I am confused and impressed at the same time. Let's see, the signs are staying. I really hope Adam and Bandit is enough to break him. Fuck yeah. Victini. Doing God's work. Which I actually don't believe in. Um, <laughs> that was a risky call though. Um, I do realize that uh, Tyranitar is you know a threat and a half for me, however. Cinderace. Heavy duty boots? Could it be that? No, we saw life form on this guy. Yeah. We saw absolute life orb. I'm actually gonna switch in Cetrion. He could U-turn, or he could go for Sucker Punch thinking I'm Scarfed. Which if I were him, I'd probably be in the area of thinking. Hopefully. Don't send headbutt. Ooh, nice. So, probably follow that up with... Um, or I can only assume a send headbutt. So with that in mind, I'm actually gonna send in <laughs> Victina again, just to soak the hit. hey -o. Don't miss. There we go. Nice. Nice and resisted. There we go. How to kill us in the race. Do not attack it. And you'll do fine. <laughs> it's alright. So, I think I am in a position of momentum. Ish. Tyranitar is not great. He had Ready Drake on his own, which is actually quite threatening for me. Brings in Tyranitar, yeah. Oh, choice banded U turn, here we go. Which spawn did he have left anyway? Hadrini. Yeah. Victini is like essential for me here. And more so now I don't have any type of PP actually on this Victini. Oh my god. Hey, oh. Right, that's um, that was fair. I'm sorry, Jerry. I'm pretty sure I, I am convinced you were supposed to take that for sure, absolutely for sure. All right, um, all right, gonna send Achilles. And basically, when the, I was gonna say, the Magic Room Abuser comes in, I'm actually just gonna U-turn. We do have Tailwind, but this thing always should be carrying. Um, Rigid Rago comes back in. Alright. Not sure why. More word about those shiny bits. Right, we U-turn here. <clears throat> Because depending on his set, first and foremost, my Regidrago is probably absolutely wasted for this matchup. That's 
it was it was never supposed to be clearly. Uh, but Cetrion, no Fire Fang, Hammer Arm, Dragon Dance, Outrage, Dragon Claw, that's it's nothing it can't do or can do. So Tabo Phoenix should be able to um, wall this. And his last matchup is actually just allowing It's weird. Not a thing, like it's really weird. There is nothing I can do versus it, and I realize that. It's actually super weird. Because I was trying to hold this this whole game trying to get it into position, and it just was not happening. Oh right, he Dynamax. I guess he wanted just the, the more of the Ready Drago. I actually want to see if this looks dynamaxed. Yeah, it looks cool. For me, Ready Drago is easily the coolest of the Drago. So it's real unfortunate none of us, none of us get a showcase for here. That was plus one, people. That is plus one. That's uh, that's terrible. Hey, popping the weakness policy. That's actually that's kind of cool. <laughs> that could actually be problematic. <laughs> Because I mean, I could Dynamax on my own. I, I I guess I could. Fuck it, let's do that. <laughs> I have no reason not to. <laughs> because the way I see it, the only way I can win, and I I mean this with every bit of respect to my opponent. Um, is by setting up a tailwind and basically let Victini rip apart, but I don't wanna... I wanna finish this with style, so... <laughs> I'll figure we can try to abuse this a little bit. Plus, I'm not sure I'd take this Max Draco, actually, I think about it. Because there is not that much HP I got out of... Uh, Since I have no... Why haven't I used Dynamax candies on these guys? No matter. Let's see what happens. Max Darkness. How much damage? It's double the power this time. It, I, I made the right call, at least, by Dynamaxing. You know, the special defense decrease in contrast is double the power. Yeah, I'll, I'll say it did the stuff. So, versus Hatterini. If Hatterene is some type of trick room variant, I guess I'm kinda screwed anyway, aren't I? <laughs> Three minutes left, the balance. If the case of it is that it's a trick room variant, I'm just gonna say it as it is. And say that my opponent deserves to win if it is, because quite frankly, I might not be able to pull that one through at all. He might get enough trick room turns to actually finish the game off. Here comes the Hatterini, and if it isn't, if I'm lucky it isn't, why are they all shiny, Yeri? What are you up to? You're not fooling anybody. Don't be trick room, don't be trick room, don't be trick room. My Starfall won't do anything to you. I actually did alright. <laughs> Training kiss. Good Jesus Christ. I don't know why I use the, the Lord's son's name in vain. But sometimes it just makes sense. Anyway. <clears throat> so Radio Rego was not getting a showcase here, at least not from my side. Um, I'll argue it was heavily more influenced the way my opponent was playing it, so more part of my opponent. But we are here to finish this game off with the most powerful move we got. The Victory Star V Create Victini. And there we go. GG to Jerry. That was a fantastic game. Well done, man. I mean, had I not been able to knock out um, Melodic, I'm not sure 
if I would have been able to keep that Pokemon away from me because, you know, my, all things considered, my Tapu Fini was really passive with no Calm Mind. And that's, yeah, I, that could have backfired. Uh, but anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this game. And um, yeah, make sure to subscribe, you know, subscribe and whatnot, like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, as always, take care. Mwah.